The best part of the December 5th East Side field trip was not planned by any of the field trip organizers. That best part came into existence through a fortunate series of coincidences, which allowed us to hear about the East Side, not from the perspective of an outsider, but from the more valuable perspective of a resident of the East Side itself. And we were fortunate enough to have an outgoing and charismatic resident of the Fruit Belt provide his valuable perspective. I'm from this neighborhood. I walk up and down this neighborhood. And I've been doing this for the last 40 years. Really? Well, they called me Whistle Man. Yeah. Because I do, I give everybody a whistle. Yeah. So I wish I had something I would give everybody a whistle. Maybe I might talk to you later on, maybe hook it up somewhere. Yeah, do a whistle. But um, yeah. I see you going down to Calvin Street. Yep. And um, you're going to, Calvin Street looked different than it was two months ago. Yeah, no, they really looks very, I'm yeah. very, very proud of what they're doing today. Yeah. But for some reason, People are scared of yeah. Really? And you know what I mean? Yeah. They scared of you know what I mean about that? I don't want to go color color. Yeah. But for some reason, yeah. they scared of you coming to the hood. Sure. And for Rusty, I'm not. Yeah. I welcome y'all. Because yeah. around this hood, I'm talking about this certain areas in the fruit belt, I know your mother, I know her mother, I know your mother, I know your mother. And when I do, when I see your mother, I say, how you doing, ma'am? Yeah, Where you going? Can we help you walk to this hood? Can we help you with your groceries? We don't do no what everybody think they're going to do. Sure. This hood right here is different. Yeah. Fruit Belt people is different. Yeah, they know so each other. That, 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 that's right. We take everybody um, life personally. We try to uh, see, treat everybody as one. Yeah. Um, some of these doors right here is unlocked. You can go yeah. to their right now and open their door. But that's what kind of hood we got. Yeah. And you better not mess with them. It's not my mother. Sure. It's not your mother. But I you know. better not mess with them because I'll beat you down like a zombie. Of course. Well, I can say, welcome to the Fruit Belt. Well, thank you. Welcome to our hood. We love everybody. Yeah. We ain't pressed against nobody. Y'all can come on here and change it around and do what they're going to fix it all up, and we ain't scared. Yep. But they call me Whistle Man, and I am the lion <laughs> of this neighborhood. Every cheers to the Whistle Man. Okay, but y'all going to hear about him one day, and y'all say, oh, we met the Whistle Man. We've seen him, and we know what he's all about. Okay? The icon. Yeah. I'm an icon of the fruit belt. Hey, yep, take my, right. I love the camera. Put <laughs> me on the video. I'm not a criminal. I ain't scared of it. I paid my child support. I'll tell you, I'm a very prominent person walking through the hood. I give everybody a whistle because you remember the Titanic? Yep. Yep. You always needed a whistle. That's right. For some reason, y'all get lost in the woods. Yeah. For right. some reason, y'all always falling down a ravine. <laughs> and when your telephone go out, and we cannot communicate. I'm gonna be right here. Your phone won't work, but I'm gonna say, "Here I am." Yeah, that's right. And you're gonna say, "Here we are." That's right. So a whistle is a very important tool, and I'm the one behind it. You need one if you get on the water. You need a whistle. Yeah. You need one on land. Okay. So if you ever get one, don't be scared of it. Put it around your neck, and it's gonna save you. Thanks a lot. Okay. What's my name? Whistle man. Whistle man. Thank you. Hey, hey. See you later, whistle man. Okay. One more piece on it? Thanks. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm in love with that man. Whistle Man is the best thing we could have There's no reason to record anymore. We got Whistle Man. My sentiment still has not changed from that moment. I really did know right then and there that my project had to be about that encounter. It's the realest thing that happened on the day. Not a manufactured tour or anything, but a real resident talking to us about his real feelings on a real place that he knows is real. This is one moment in particular that I thought provided a clear, defined takeaway from the Whistleman talk. Y'all can come on here and change it around and do what they're gonna fix it all up and we ain't scared. He does not say that we can make all the changes we want to the neighborhood without being scared of each other. He says y'all can come in here and make all the changes you want as if he's talking to outsiders who are more in power over his neighborhood than he is. But another key takeaway, and this ties into the stuff that Thielman and Pitts and other speakers who spoke in the Giza lecture hall talked about is that he does not have a problem with the development of the hospital district being out of his control or out of any of his neighbor's control. In fact, he said he was proud of the changes happening on Calvin Street, even though 
people of a different class living in a different area may have more control over the changes happening there. To relate this again to the current conversation about the hospital district developing without the permission of the residents of the Fruit Belt, the whistle man, the person who actually lives in the Fruit Belt, calls his neighborhood a hood, not a historical museum of a neighborhood that needs to be preserved before it gets wrecked by a hospital district, but a respectable hood with community values and a will to grow out of its hoodness of old. He spoke to better our relations. I'm Ryan Ballow and I approve this message. Alright, let's go.